Automations are a big part of what makes a smart home smart. They are what takes your smart home to the next level, from motion lights to controlling your heating or air conditioning, or maybe even notifications to let you know that the washing is done. But other than the basics, what other automations are actually out there? And what other advanced automations can we actually do? In this video, let's count down from five to one to give you my favorite automations I have in my house that I use every single day. Now, I am purposely not including motion lights, heating controls, or anything like that, because those are the obvious ones that a lot of us already have. In terms of just raw usefulness, those ones are right up there for sure, in terms of really useful automations. But let's do five others that you may not have already thought about or you're not already doing. So kicking it off with number five, that would be person detection when no one is home or everyone is asleep. Person detection on security cameras and doorbells is really useful, but I don't always need to get a notification that someone is in my front garden if I'm already at home because chances are it's probably me. So turning on person recognition, for all of the security cameras whenever everyone is away from home is a really useful thing to have because it means you're only going to get notifications about real events and events that actually matter. And so what this does is basically as soon as the house is empty and everyone is away from the house, anytime someone enters the property, we get a notification to say that someone is in the garden and it will also show an image of the person that was recognized. This also works when we are asleep so that we only get notifications that are important and need to be reviewed. This is a great one to have and I would highly recommend it if you have the hardware already in place to do so. Number four is a fun one and is all to do with movie watching and setting the scene specifically for movies. Since all of our content is consumed on a Google TV, we can detect when content is playing and turn off the lamps, turn on the TV ambulight and close the curtains. Now we don't want this to happen at any old time of the day and for any content because that would be really inconvenient. For example, I don't really want this to happen if I'm just watching a YouTube video during the day or maybe listening to Spotify or something like that. But because we are using a Chromecast, we are actually able to detect if it's a movie playing or a TV series playing and from what source. So if it's playing from Plex or Netflix or Amazon, anything like that. And then we can only set the movie scene if it's an actual movie or a TV series playing, making it far more useful than it otherwise would be. Likewise, if we pause the movie to get up for a drink or something like that, we can also do things like turning the lamps back on so that you can see where you are going. My third favorite automation is one that a lot of you guys loved from the building my perfect wall panel video and that is automatically showing the doorbell camera on the wall tablet anytime the doorbell button is pressed so that you can preview who is actually at the door before you get to it. We actually use this a lot and I personally find it really useful for ignoring those unwanted visitors. It's quick, it works every time, and is always ready to go by the time I actually get to the door. Overall, this is a really useful automation and one of the most useful ways that the wall panel can actually be used. Now, before we jump into the next one, go ahead and let me know some of your favorite automations in the comments box down below. Perhaps you've got some that I haven't thought of yet, or maybe you're already doing some of these. Either way, do let me know. I love hearing from you guys, and it massively helps me out. On to my second favorite automation, and it's certainly not the most glamorous, but that is the alarm system. And the reason I think that the alarm system is so good is because you can get started so easily with very little, and you can build it up as much or as little as you want to. Pretty much all of us have at least a few motion sensors in our house already, as well as a couple of door sensors. And if you think about it, that is all you need to create a super basic alarm. Basically set the alarm as soon as you go out and anytime a motion or a door contact sensor is triggered, then you can send yourself a notification to let you know that the alarm has went off. As for me, I've added a nice keypad as well as a siren and some smoke alarms, which are all linked together and they work very well together. And if you use a GPS location on your phones, then you can have the alarm set automatically by itself 
so you don't even need to remember to set it manually. An alarm like this is something that I think everyone should do since it's so easy to get started with and the benefits are obviously massive. Finally, we come to my favourite automation of all and one of my favourite smart home devices of all time. And if you're a long time viewer of this channel, you probably saw this coming and it is my bed sensor. Now, the bed sensor basically can detect if one or both people are in bed and either put the entire house to sleep for the night by closing all the blinds and curtains, switching off the lights, turning off the heating and all the other devices off, or it can actually wake the entire house basically by doing the reverse, opening the blinds, curtains, switching on lights and playing my morning routine. Now, I built my bed sensor in a previous video, which basically turns the entire bed into a giant set of scales, but there are off the shelf solutions, which are a bit more expensive but are also much easier to install. Either way, I personally think this is a great addition to any smart home and it all opens up a ton of possibilities and for automations that are really useful. If you fancy giving this one a go, I would definitely say yes, absolutely give it a shot and I'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed. And there we go, that is five of my favourite automations that you may not have thought of before. Some of them are super useful, some more for entertainment purposes, but all of them get used every single day. Now, if you are interested in more information about a particular automation that I have talked about here, you want to learn more or you want to know more about it, then please do let me know in the comments down below and we can try to cover it in a future video. And there are obviously tons more automations that I have that we haven't even covered here or talked about yet. We really are just scratching the surface. If you're interested in perhaps a part two of this video, then also let me know and we can try to do that. Other than that, I hope you did find this video useful. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to support the channel, then you can do so by becoming a patron on Patreon and your support allows me to keep on making these videos. Thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. As always, your support is very much appreciated. Make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed and I will see you in the next video. Shoo.